This video will show you how the pop and peak functions work and how to code them for the stack data structure and how they can be applied as I will show you an example using the code for these functions and I'll be using some animation to help you visualize and better understand. This video is still on the array implementation of the stack data structure. I'll be going through how the pop and peak functions can be used to remove items from the stack and also to get the topmost element in the stack. I'll be using an example with some animation to help show how these functions work and after that I will look at the code for these functions and we'll run them in our project files as we continue to build our stack project. I'm about to upload the next video about the print function, the is full function and is empty functions for the stack data structure. So I strongly suggest that you click the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss it or any data structures or programming videos I will upload and click the subscribe button if you haven't already and welcome to Echo Fundamentals. The goal of this video is to create two functions that will remove an element from the top of the stack which will be the pop function and another one that will get and return the element at the top of the stack and in this case it is the element C. Say we have a stack with five elements, the elements 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And with the first function, the pop function, and this function will remove the element at the top of the stack. So with our example stack, let's apply the pop function. Say we call the pop function on the stack. It will check if the top, if top is equal to negative 1, meaning that the stack is empty, but top is equal to 4. So we go to the else statement and we just decrement the top value and now the top will be equal to 3 with the element 10 removed from the stack. And if we call pop again, the top variable is currently at 3. And since we have elements in the stack, we then want to decrement the top variable and the element 8 will be removed. And we can do this again with top at 2, we can remove the element 6 by decrementing the value of the top variable. In the if statement will be executed if the, to if the value of top is negative 1 and that would mean the stack is empty. And now we can move on to the peak function. The peak function will return the element at the top of the stack. So if we want to call the peak function on the stack, this function will check We'll first check if the stack is empty or if the top variable is equal to negative 1. And if the stack is not empty, the else part of the code will be executed and will print out the value at the top. And since the top variable is equal to 4 or index 4, which is the highest index in the stack, the value 10 will be returned. Now back in our project files, we will define the two, the two functions which are covered in the animation part of the video. We need to first create the function prototypes for the pop function, which will remove, remove the topmost element in the stack. It's a void function and it doesn't take any parameters. Now let's define our function, the pop function, So from our stack class, we'll call the pop function. And for this function, the first thing, the first statement we need to check is if we have now, we have, uh, the stack is not empty. So if top is equal to negative one, then we want to print out a message saying that the stack, we want to print out a message saying that the stack is empty. And then finally, we want to decrement the top variable. And 
that's it. The second function is the peak function. Now this function would return the top the element at the top of the stack. It's also a void function and it doesn't take any parameters. Now let's create our function. Now from the stack from the stack class we'll call the peak function. And then for the inside this function we want to check the, for the if statement if top is negative one, that will mean that the stack is empty. So we'll print out that message. But if the stack is not empty, we want to, we want to return or print out the value of the element at the top of the stack. Okay. Now that we've covered the pop and peak functions, we can move on to the print is full is empty functions for the array implementation of the stack data structure on the next video. Now please take 10 seconds to click the subscribe button and the bell next to it if you haven't already because that helps me to grow this channel and you won't miss any videos I will upload that might entertain or help you in the near future. And you can support me by checking out my Patreon page. I will leave a link in the video description below. And thanks for staying with me until now. Welcome to Eco Fundamentals.